Hey guys, so today I'm going to do another Is It Worth It video. I haven't done one of these in probably like two or three weeks, so sorry about that, but I've just been so busy with my exams and final ex like assignments and all that, but in less than two weeks I will be done school, so hopefully I will be able to start recording more and having different kinds of videos for you guys. So like I said, it's going to be another Is It Worth It video, so for those of you who don't know what this kind of video is, it is just me reviewing a product that I have that's kind of more expensive and I let you guys know if it's worth buying or not. So today the product isn't super expensive, um, the other ones I have done are a bit more pricey but the reason why I'm doing this is because I feel like for what it is it's expensive but like overall it's not if that makes any sense so anyways the thing I'm reviewing today is this so it's the ultra repair lip therapy and so obviously it's for dry lips and it is from first aid beauty and I love their products right now I am so obsessed like I just want to buy everything I will link my latest Sephora haul down in the like information box where I have all my social media and then you guys can see the other first aid beauty products that I got. I only known about it for probably like maybe two, three months by watching YouTube videos obsessively and that's how I found out about them. Um, from what I've seen, they're not really in Canada too much. Last week I was at Sephora near my house in Toronto. Like I don't live downtown so we have a smaller mall and they had all, from all I saw, was the like body cream. But I didn't really look around too much. It was just at the front, like in that section where you're about to cash out. And then you see all these other things and you're like, I'm not done shopping yet. So that's the only thing I saw in Canada so far. But I could be wrong. It could be at other Sephora's. I just haven't seen it. So when I want first aid beauty, I go to Galleria Mall in Buffalo, which is super close to where I live when I'm home. So it's not really like a far drive. Anyways, so... I love this so much. It is amazing. It's not uh, like glossy. It just like absorbs right into your lips. It's perfect. It has like a minty smell, but it doesn't burn your lips. That's the one thing I hate about mint like chapstick. I can't wear it because it burns my lips, but this doesn't. Um, it doesn't make my lips like all gross and glossy looking. It's just perfect. I love it. I would buy like a million of these if I could. I was using the MAC lip conditioner and I'm honestly probably just going to keep buying this because it's amazing. It's perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. So it's only $15 in Canada and I think 12 in the States, which like I said, it's not expensive at all. But for lip products, it's kind of a bit much when it's just like a chapstick basically. But it's just so much better than a chapstick because I find with chapstick, it's going to sound really gross when you put it on and your lips are dry. It doesn't like absorb and then just like the flakes of dead skin are just there. And then with my MAC one, it leaves my lips all glossy and I don't really like that. So this one is just perfect and I love it and it's just the best thing ever so I will definitely keep buying this so obviously it's worth the money and you should get it too so let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried this or if you like want it and you want to tell me do that for sure and don't forget to keep subscribing because once I get to 500 Alex will do the boyfriend does my makeup tag so that'll be fun and I will link my Sephora haul down below like I said before and all my social media links so don't forget to follow me and I hope you guys like this video and yeah keep subscribing thank you for watching bye